Hi, my name is Eva Jackon and I'm the head girl at Craig Royston Community High School. My name is James Hay and I'm the head boy at Craig Royston Community High School. We're standing outside our school today for the educational summit attended by the Scottish First Minister Nicola Sturgeon, various political figures, experts on education and head teachers from across the country. This summit was brought about by the Scottish Government's focus on closing the attainment gap in schools all around Scotland and the importance of doing so. I had the chance to ask Nicola Sturgeon a few questions of my own. The Scottish Government is determined that we make our already good education system even better and that we make sure that all young people, regardless of their background, get access to great quality education. And today's summit is all about hearing ideas about how we do that from a whole range of interests. Eva and I were both present at today's summit and we were given the opportunity to speak to the delegates about our experience at, through our six years at high school and our progress moving from high school to further education. Immediately after the summit, we had the chance to ask the Deputy First Minister a few questions. Thanks very much for joining us today, Deputy First Minister. Tell me a bit about what you thought about the courses we had on display. I thought the showcase in the school was absolutely fantastic. It was a great diversity of different projects, whether it was about the ESOL project, which is about supporting young people who, where English is not the first language, or um, I talked to a tremendous young man who had been involved in designing computer games uh, with a level of sophistication that uh, well, I'll only ever dream about having that. So it was a, a, a fantastic range of different projects that were in place in the school today. You chaired today's summit. Could you give us a brief summary of what was touched upon and what things you discussed? What the summit was about was about bringing together opinion from across the uh, range of political opinions within Scotland but also the very broad range of stakeholders that are involved in education to assist us in dealing with the challenge, which is my responsibility, given to me by the First Minister, to ensure that we fulfil the potential of every young person in Scotland and to strengthen Scottish education in the process by closing the attainment gap. Now, we've, we've, we've heard all those perspectives, but what was really of significance is that we brought in international opinion into that debate. So we had the Organisation for Economic Cooperation and Development, the OECD, giving us a summary of their report into Scottish education. So we've had a really thoughtful discussion this morning. Could you tell us what the next steps are? Over the next couple of weeks, I'll be formulating a delivery plan, which I'll set out to Parliament just before we go into the summer break. And that'll set out the steps the government will take to ensure that we uh, take steps to deliver the education policies that we've talked about this morning, that we want to close the attainment gap and that we want to fulfil the potential of every young person in Scotland. But we're lucky to have an education system that's got tremendous strength about it, but there's obviously work to be done to improve performance and the government will do exactly that. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much, much Deputy, Deputy First, First Minister. Minister. Thank you. It's been a great day being part of the Educational Summit and making our voices heard. And it's been a fantastic day for our school and its reputation and it was great to hear the First Minister speak so positively of our school. I've been really impressed with the school. It's a lovely welcoming friendly environment but you know schools are bricks and mortar what matters is what happens yeah. in a school and all of the young people that i've met today have really impressed me bright ambitious enthusiastic and determined young people i give credit to the school and a credit to scotland as well